Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Dorissa, if you're new to the channel. It is really great to see you all back in my channel and uh, I hope that you're doing well. In today's episode, I would really like to cover highlights panel uh, in record pages. And uh, for this reason, I'll be using a Lightning App Builder and step-by-step -step explain how is it linked to the page layout and uh, the compact uh, layout and what you need to add or remove um, to show exact data and the key figures you are looking for. And as always, I'm in one of my Salesforce playgrounds and uh, I'm in the accounts page. And the highlights panel is right this one right here. And it is showing us uh, key, key figures, key information we have selected before, or it was by default set by Salesforce. And what I'm going to do, I will go into setup and in setup, I would like to explain you the relationship between, between the fields. I'm in Salesforce setup and I'm going to open object manager and accounts as I am right here in accounts object. And in, in the accounts, I would like to open compact layouts. Now we have a system default compact layout. And when I click on it, I can see that by default we have account name type phone website if i go back to the user interface i have the account name and the type phone website account owner and the account site and industry account site and industry um, it is not really showing billing address parent account or annual revenue because there is a limit for how many fields you can display in the highlights panel and i will also explain that in a in a bit now we have covered the compact layouts and uh, in the page layout another thing is page layouts would be controlling for us buttons you're, you're seeing right here. We have invoices, new contacts, new opportunities, and then a long list of other actions we can find in the highlights panel. And if I go and select the account layout, that should be the standard one. And I go and open mobile and lightning actions. Now mobile and I, uh, lightning actions, so you can find them on your mobile devices and in general in lightning experience and you can see the same invoice that we had in here invoice and uh, we have also new contacts new opportunities and all the list that we saw right here in this in this drop down how is connected to the lightning app builder i'm gonna open the gear icon and i'll click edit page and you will see that in this a lightning page and uh, here you can see i have the um, when i click on the very top it shows that this part of the page is our highlights panel and we have three visible actions so these are three visible action buttons that i can change to five and if i change it to five then more buttons will appear in display in the visible view that's something to consider you can increase the limit however there is going to be still a limit you can't really show all all your buttons in one view that just that's not how it works you have a limit of 10. now if i increase it to 10 it will show me first 10 actions in in this list uh, all right that's a long list that i've ha I have in here and maybe another thing i would like to hide follow or unfollow button and if I show it as collapsed, then it will show only buttons. Or if I uncheck it, it will show me my key data. And I'm going to save this. Actions coming from the page layout or from your page layout and from object related actions in here. And if I upgrade it, there is a new feature. Now let's say I will start it from scratch and finish it now all our actions are gone they are gone and what i can do i can add say new now we had a new contact there i will add new contact button i'm going to add as well change owner so change the account owner 
and uh, all the actions that you really have related to this object. Edit button, highly important. And I'm going to even move it to the very top. So let's say I'm going to keep these uh, three actions in my, in my view and save it. Now I don't have to go back to the page layout and reorganize my actions because I can do this within the Lightning App Builder. There is another thing I would like to change fields are, that are displayed in the highlights panel. So as I mentioned, this, this uh, highlights panel is controlled or fields, and they're controlled by a compact layout. If I want to create a new compact layout, I will have to clone the current system default layout. And I'm going to just write new, new layout. And uh, now I can decide which fields to keep in the highlights panel and which ones do I want to remove from the highlights panel. Now I'm going to remove all these, I'll keep the industry, I will remove the type, phone, website, owner, and let's see what fields have I got in here. Account name, and I'll add account number, then customer type, account name, number, customer type, owner, industry and account owner. And I'm going to save this new compact layout. This is, this is just an example. And I'm going to assign the new compact layout. I'm going to change the primary com uh, compact layout to our new layout. I'm going to save this and the compact layout to use for customer prospect. Inherit from primary, exactly. I want to inherit from the new layout and just save. And that's it. Now, back to the compact layout. I can see that the new layout is the primary one. I'm going back to the Lighting App Builder and I would like to get rid of my old highlights panel and replace it with a new one. So it means that I'll have to add my buttons again. And here in the search bar, I'm going to find the highlights panel component and drag and drop to the to the top of the page and I will just for now I'll keep the old lay uh, all old, old highlights panel at the top and I'm going to click on the new one and what I need to do is to select the right highlights panel I can see it is showing me that I'm previewing the new layout but I'm not really seeing my new fields All right, now it has changed. I guess it just took a little bit of time, but I can see I have my account name, number, customer type, industry, and account owner. I have slightly changed the fields, so we can see that it's definitely the new one. And I'm going to, again, upgrade the new highlights panel and click from scratch and just finish it so I could add new buttons to th this panel. And I'm going to add edit action. And new contact. And let's say change, change owner. Just like I have it in the previous one. I'm going to remove the old one and uh, save the page. All right, so that should be ready. Now I can go back and let's see, maybe I have to activate it. I haven't really activated. It should be, it should be fine. And this is how you manage your highlights panel from Lighting App Builder and also from the page layout. Um, that would be the old way if you need to add any actions and as well creating a new compact layout just to make sure that you sele have selected the fields you want to display in your highlights panel. And you can also add 
actions within your Lightning App Builder by enabling dynamic actions. We can search and select for the actions you want to display in your highlights panel. Hope you all found this useful. Thanks a lot for getting this far in the video. I really appreciate your views. Thanks a lot for subscribing as well to my channel and I'll see you next time again. Bye-bye.